Horizon Air 2345, set approach, welcome, final runway 16 right. Welcome. Man, I'm a ground service agent, I don't know what that is. Turn up and get it to go. Uh, in a couple hours, I guess. But, um, yeah, I wouldn't know how to land it. I wasn't really planning on landing it. I know how to fly one of those aircraft, but uh, we'll see what we can do and get you in contact with somebody. Sorry, say that again. Sorry, uh, my mic came, came off. I threw up a little bit. Uh, you know, I, uh, hold on. Ah, shoot. Man, I'm sorry about this. I hope this doesn't ruin your day. When you're just flying the plane around, you seem comfortable with that? Oh, hell yeah, it's a blast, man. I've played video games before, so I, uh, you know, I know what I'm doing a little bit. Okay, and, uh, and you can see all the terrain around you. Uh, you've got no issue with visibility or anything? No, nah, everything's peachy, peachy clean. Just did a little circle around Rainier. It's beautiful. Um, I think I got some gas to go check out uh, the Olympics. And, uh, yeah. 170 to Pinky Contact Tower. Come sit there, Joe, on up. Yeah, that's all mumbo jumbo. I have no idea what all that means. I wouldn't know how to uh, punch it in. I'm I'm uh, off autopilot. Okay, see ya. Can you to the jets? No, I'm not taking you to any jets. I'm actually keeping you away from aircraft that are trying to land at SeaTac. Oh. oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I don't want to screw with that. I'm glad, uh, glad you're not, uh, you know, screwing up everyone else's day. On account of me. I'm, uh, I'm down to 2100. I started at like 30 something. Rich, you said you're at uh, 2,100 pounds of fuel left? Yeah, uh, I don't know what the burn it, burn itch, burn out is like on uh, uh, on takeoff, but uh, yeah, it burned quite a bit faster than I expected. Okay. There is the, uh, the runway just off your right side in about a mile. Do you see that? That's the... Uh, that's the, uh, that's McCord, uh, field. Oh, man, those guys would rough me up if I, uh, tried landing there. I think I, I think I might mess something up there, too. I wouldn't want to do that. Uh, hopefully, oh, they probably got anti-aircraft. No, they don't have any of that stuff. Uh, we, we're just trying to find a place for you to land safely. Yeah, not quite ready to bring it down just yet, but holy smokes, I gotta, I gotta stop looking at the fuel because it's going down quick. Okay, Rich, uh, if you could, if, could you start a left-hand turn, and uh, we'll, we'll take you down to the uh, southeast, please. This is probably uh, like jail time for life, huh? I, I mean, I would hope it is for a guy like me. And I think you might have some questions. Rich, uh, I've got a pilot on with us, and uh, if you got any questions, you can ask him now. Hey, uh, well, first off, you're a little, a little breaking up a bit. Um, Maybe I'm too far away. What's the distance on this frequency? You are uh, very calm, collect, poised. And uh, okay. Okay, thank you. right now he's just flying around, yeah, and uh, he just needs some help controlling his aircraft. Very good. Nah, I mean, I don't need that much help. I've played some video games before. Uh, I would like to figure out how to get this cabin altitude, like I know where the box is. I would like to get some, uh, make it, make it pressurized or something so I'm not so lightheaded. Yeah, I don't know anything, uh, I don't know anything about the autopilot. I'm just kind of hand flying right now. Okay, you know how fast you're going? Anyway. Uh, minimum wage. We'll, we'll, uh, chalk it up to that. Maybe that'll, uh, grease the gears a little bit with the higher up. Maybe, uh... Yeah. Good I think I lost you behind some hills a little bit. I'm coming back, though. <laughs> Damn it, Andrew! People's lives are at stake here! Now, Rich, don't, don't say stuff like that. Nah, I told you, I'm not, I don't want to hurt no one. I just want you to whisper sweet nothings into my ear. That'd be better than uh, trying to land it. Like, I know how to put the landing gear down. But your, uh, your power, that's probably 50%. That would be the two top gauges right in the center on that glass uh, display there. And then press, uh, well, tell me, uh, 
Do your power at 50 percent, or tell me what you got. Yeah, I got it like slight idle. Well, that's too slow. Bring it up to like 50. Other side on the bottom it says HDG, and it's got a little blue uh, M on it. You can crank that around, and uh, and uh, you know, I tell you what, let's just do this. Um, push. You see the HDD, HDG button uh, right by that little thumb wheel? No, you can do that with these things. Uh, so, what would if you were to do it? How would you do it? Well, I'd try to figure out how to use the autopilot first. On the uh, Roger Tech spot, uh, 88 via Bravo, County Frame. 88 and over ramp 9.257. Not concentrate so much on flying the airplane. Hey, you think if I land this successfully, uh, Alaska will give me a job as a pilot? Uh, you know, I think they would give you a job of doing anything if you could pull this off. Yeah, right. Nah, I'm a white guy. Eh? Yeah, you do your man. Like, hey, FA guy, Andrew, you on? Yeah, I, I'm still here, Rich. Uh, if you wanted to land, probably the best bet is that uh, runway just ahead and to your left. Again, that's uh, McCord Field. Um, if you wanted to try, that might be the best way to set up and see if you can land there. Yeah. Or just like the uh, pilot suggests, another option would be over Puget Sound into the water. Dang, uh, did you talk to McCord yet? Because I don't think I'd be happy with you telling me I could land like that because I could mess some stuff up. Well, Rich, I already talked to him. And uh, just like me, what we want to see is you not get hurt or anybody else get hurt. So, like I said, if you want to try to land, that's probably the best place to go. Hey, I want the coordinates of that orca with the, you know, the mama orca with the baby. I want to go see that guy. Get back and get some water. Hey, what's the what's that airport right there behind me, like to my left? Okay, Rich. Well, first of all, we we just need you to keep flying the aircraft. And so, if you could just stay there and keep flying the aircraft, the air, the. Uh, the airport you just passed over on your left, that's the uh, Tacoma Narrows Airport. I mean, that's also an option if you want to try going there. But uh, like I said earlier, McCord, that's a, that's a bigger runway if you wanted to try to land there. Oh, that's disgusting. One sec. Hey, Rich, this is Captain Bill here. We're still uh, listening. My airplane's doing uh, just fine. How's yours? Hey, is that pilot on? I want to know uh, what this weather is going to be like in the Olympics. Well, if you can see the Olympics, the weather's good. I can see the Olympics from my window, and it looks pretty good over there. All right, because I, I hit some, uh, felt like turbulence around right near, but there was no clouds hardly. Oh, uh, that's just the, uh, the wind blowing over all the bumpy surfaces there. I got a lot of people that care about me, and... Uh, it's going to disappoint them to, to hear that I did this. Um, I would like to apologize to each and every one of them. Um, just a broken guy. Got a few screws loose, I guess. Never really knew it <clears throat> until now. Up a little bit. 43. 141. Man, have you been to the Olympics? These guys are gorgeous. Holy smokes. Yeah, I have been out there. It's... it's it's always a nice drive. From 119.2. If I type it. But. I think I might have a beaker. Yeah. Yeah, I, I bet you do. I haven't done much hiking over there. And, uh. But if you could, if you could start a left turn and, uh, turn back towards the east. I know you're getting a good view there, but, uh. If you go too much further in that direction, I won't be able to hear you anymore. Alrighty, um, hey, pilot guy, can this thing do a, uh, a backflip, you think? Yeah. I think I'm gonna land it, uh, like, uh, in a safe, safe kind of manner. I think I'm, uh, I think I'm gonna try to do a barrel roll, and if that goes good, I'll just go nose down and call it a night. Well, Rich, before you do that, uh, Let's think about this. I got another uh, pilot coming up, Pilot Joel, here in just a minute or two, I hope. And uh, we'll be able to give you some advice on what to do next. Just kind of lightheaded, dizzy. Um, man, and, you know, the sights went by so fast. 
too. I was thinking like I'm gonna have this moment of serenity, you know, I'll be able to take all in all the sights. And, uh, there's a lot of pretty stuff, but uh, I think they're prettier in a different context. Okay, thank you. And do you have an idea of how much fuel you have left? Uh, man, not enough. Not enough to get by, uh, like, uh, 760, 760 pounds. Papa, contact ground to ground, West 4581. I wouldn't mind just shooting the shit with you guys, but it's all business, you know? I know, but it's going to be a little while. Alright, okay. Hunter flight 141, turn left, heading 190, follow the dash 8, quick visual approach, turn one. I feel like I need to be, what do you think, like 5,000 feet at least to be able to pull this barrel roll off? Stay on the ground. All right. Ah, uh, damn it. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't want to. I was kind of hoping that was going to be it, you know? Thank you. After long, I feel like one of my engines is going out or something. Okay, Rich. Uh, if you could, you just want to keep that plane right over the water. Maybe keep the aircraft nice and low.